Hello, this is MK Khan. Welcome to this copy review. This I started last month. Unfortunately, I've not been able to go through all the self copy that I was sent. So I'll try to see if I can finish everything this month. My goal was to do 20 free copywriting review for members of the Nigerian Copywriting Club. Don't forget, this is what I do for members of my copywriting school. And um, I also charge a lot for copywriting reviews. But I'm doing this for free. So if you want to have your copy review, the paid service, where I will go even more in depth and show a lot more, you can reach out to me. Okay, so this is a self copy by somebody, and he is selling a freelancing course to students. Okay, he's selling a freelancing course to students. So let's start with the target audience before you write the copy. Now, a lot of people don't seem to always remember that if you want to sell something you need to start by targeting the right audience the audience is the most important thing audience offer then copy if you're targeting people who cannot pay you are going to struggle to make sales as simple as that so the question is students can they really pay for what you want to sell do they have the money to pay so you need to be careful who your target audiences are be careful know who you are targeting and target those who can pay generally students don't have money all right so that is the first lesson there don't sell to anybody sell to those who can pay for what you're selling that is number one now let's go to the copy itself i've i've, list, I've, I've read through it and the, the first thing i want to talk about is the formatting of the copy your copy has to be easy to read what you have here are blocks of text very difficult to read so the formatting is off all right make sure you have short sentences white space use different techniques to make it easy for people to read right so your subheads should be bigger and then um, it should be well formatted for easy reading because if people can read it no matter what you're writing no matter how good it is they might struggle and you will not get sales that's number one number two let's talk about your headline a new and guaranteed way to become independent and productive in the next two to five months of this strike and beyond. Hint, it's not affiliate marketing. Now, that is the problem with picking a target audience. A target audience, when you pick a target audience, you need to write the copy to them. And that is what you're trying to do here. We're talking about strike because it has to it has to do with students, which is fine. But I'd like to remind you again, you make sure who you're targeting can pay for what you're trying to sell. Anyway, that's by the way. So the headline here, how to become independent. Do students want to be independent? All right, that's a, that's a question. Are the students really in the mood to be independent? How to be sure that what you're selling is what they want? Personally, I would say what students might want right now is how they can make money with during this strike period. Right? How can they, they can be useful and productive and make money? Right, how to make money during the strike? Simple, direct, straightforward. So always make sure you are selling what the people you are selling to want. Okay, that's another thing. Make sure you are selling what your people, your target audience want. If not, you are going to waste time and you'll struggle. So personally, I would assume or I would think that the people in this niche want the students that are on strike now uh, at home. They want to make money. They want to be productive. They want to learn something with their time. Okay, so that may be what you should target. And you said this is not affiliate marketing. So this has to do with money. So be direct about money, all right? Not just being productive, but being able to make money at the strike. That is more direct. Then have a better headline that is more direct. Now, I read through some of the things you wrote here. A lot of these things here are not necessary. When you're writing copy, and you are writing to people who, who understand what they want. You just go direct with telling them what you're going to get, what they're going to get. Dear students, in the next five minutes, I'm going to show you how to make a hundred to two hundred thousand naira every month while you are on strike without doing this, without doing that. Very direct. They know what they want, you know what they want, you give it to them. Most of the things you're writing here are not necessary. These are just things that just. Uh, wasting space all these things does not add any value to your your offer to your copy all right 
telling them that they are on strike, sapa, all of those things it doesn't matter. They know it already. You only you're, you're only reminding them of the bad situation. You want to give them the solution. So go direct with the solution. Okay, so a lot of this should not be here. Now another thing that I want to you need to be very clear on when you say freelancing, freelancing can be anything. Is it freelance writing? Is, is it free, freelance graphic designing? Okay, you need to be also uh, very open. And if you if you need to explain what freelancing is and all the different ways they can do it, you can do it in your copy. When you just say freelancing and you are not specific about what people are going to learn, all right? Are you is the course going to cover all types of freelancing? You need to also let them know. Is this freelance writing, freelance design, uh, graphic design? Is it freelance coding? Because all of these things are freelance. You have to be specific so that people can understand what they are paying for. All right? Once again, the block of text is so difficult to read. Make sure you have line, uh, one sentences, few sentences, white space, subheads. Okay? Now, what is this course all about? Your bullets also are not very enticing. You have to write better bullets. And your bullets are also very long sentences. It shouldn't be that way. Credibility is not something you just write that way. This subhead should be something better. And credibility should also be maybe sometimes mostly on top before you start talking about your offer. Okay, it should be on top. They are saying final offer here. Please format your copy properly. Tell them if it's bonus one, bonus one is this. This is the value. Bonus two is this. The way it is scattered is difficult to read. Okay. The way it is scattered is difficult to read. So these are some of the things I have noticed in your copy. You know, this is not everything, but these are the most important thing that you can improve that can make a difference. All right. I hope that you have learned a thing or two, and um, thank you. Once again, if you're watching this and you want to get intensive, comprehensive copywriting review for your projects, you can reach out to me. It's a paid service, all right? Reach out to me. You can discuss and then we can go from there. Thank you.